you guys turn the you turn Stanford over so much, twenty one times, but you could only turn that into twelve points. Do you think you were tight? Do you think you didn't take great shots, or what was going on? I think um, yeah, we definitely didn't convert on um, the turnovers. I think that we were just taking some quick shots. I think um, taking some four shots, but those shots had been falling prior to this game, so. Um, you know, they just didn't fall today. You know, we shot 29% from the field, and, and we were missing a lot around the rim, a lot of chippies, a lot of floaters, a lot of um, pull-ups, and just taking um, shots off balance. And those are things we don't convert on. So, yeah, to turn them over 21 times, we have to be able to convert. Um, but if you would have told me that we're going to lose by, you know, 20 rebounds, we're going to be down by 20 rebounds on the boards, and and shoot 28%, I would have told you we would have lost by 30. So um, against great teams like Stanford, we have to be a little bit better at the small things. It doesn't ever come down to the last shot. It comes out down to the missed free throws down the stretch. It comes down to the foul on the three-point shot. It comes down to getting the turnovers and not converting. So it's those things. It's never the last play. Um, but, you know, it obviously just stings pretty bad. And what? this team has accomplished. What does that mean to you and how special is this team? Um, this team is so special. I am so proud. Um, you know, we fought, like we weren't the best team in the tournament. Um, we, no one thought we'd be here. We believed in each other. Uh, we didn't play a great game, but we battled. We played our hearts out and we came within one possession. Um, it doesn't come down to, down to the last possession. It comes down to all the little things. And the margin of error is so slim in a championship game. And this is uncharted territory for the Wildcats. Our program hadn't been to the tournament in 15 years, 16 years. And we've never played in the championship game. So were we a little tight? Yeah. Um, were we not hitting shots? Yeah. Um, but, I mean, we fought. We played great defense. I mean, we, we did some good things. But Stanford's such a good team with so much depth, um, so many weapons offensively. Um, they isolated us inside. They did some things that were really tough for us to guard. Um, and, but I'm, I'm not ashamed. Like, we made it to the championship game. We, had, we came within a basket of winning a national championship. So I'm proud. Um, and, you know, we can, it's, it's hard. It, it does hurt. Like, my heart's broken, but I can't ask for anything more of this team. Um, to shoot 28% and come within one shot and shoot 27% from the three and lose by one point. Um, we did some other things really well, so I'm proud. Um, no one thought we'd be playing a championship game. No one. So, um, you know, we did, they did everything I asked. It's just the shots didn't fall and the little things we weren't able to execute on. Um, in the final play that you drew up, um, were there? We all, everybody knew it was going to go to Ari McDonald, but were there any other options explored um, at that point to, for her to dish it off or anything, or was it all Ari or nothing? No, it was going to be Ari or nothing, just because if you look at the game, um, really Ari was the one scoring. Um, so, you know, as my decision as a coach is, I, and I knew she was going to be doubled, um, but you know, running a, a screen the screener type action um, was the best option. But it wasn't like in this game we we were hitting from the three, so there's an option for a three pointer in that um, situation. But we needed we needed a two, and so we knew she would catch it on the three point line, um, and that's what happened. But they did a really good job of denying us after the screen, and we they forced us to catch the ball really high. And then when Ari went to drive, we know she can go downhill because there's plenty of time. We, we work on that a lot in practice, the special situations. And But she was pretty much triple teamed, and she couldn't go downhill. But, I mean, at that point, you know, we've been on Ari's back for the whole tournament, so, like, she's got to take that shot. And, um, you know, unfortunately, it still had a chance of going in, but I, she's, I have to put the ball in her hands. Um, in that situation because she's one of the reasons why we're here. Uh, this is going to be a two-part question. Okay. Um, first, what will you remember about this team? And secondly, does this run cement Aries' legacy as the best player in program history? Yeah, for sure. So Aerie, um, hands down, no doubt, is the best player in Arizona's history. Um, 
She was a lot better than I ever was. <laughs> so, and the fact that I held those records for so long, it doesn't mean a lot because that means we weren't that good for a long time. So Aerie just shattered everything. A better player than I could have ever been. Um, led us to the national championship game when no one would have thought that. So Aerie was phenomenal. Definitely the best player in Arizona history. And I'm proud that I coached her. I'm proud she chose me twice. I'm proud she came to Arizona to do something special when we weren't good. Um, we were probably 300 something in RPI. And for her to come here and then come back when she could have gone pro and then to lead us to the national championship and be one shot away from winning it all, I mean, she's amazing. Just the way that we fought, the way that we um, just approached things, the way they looked at me in my eyes and believed in the things I said and spoke my language and played their hearts out. I think when you're a coach, and your team plays their hearts out for you, there's a good connection. I think if you look around the country, there's a lot of teams that don't play hard for their coaches. That don't listen. They will run through a wall for me. And they did that. And they fought. And they played their hearts out. They retired a little bit. But they just found a way to get back in the game. So as a coach, I'm, I'm happy. I'm satisfied. Um, this was a hard year. Um, it was a hard year. It was a COVID year. It was a year we didn't get team bonding a lot. We were on lockdown in hotels most of the year. You know, we've been here three weeks, pretty much on lockdown. It is hard mentally for players, but they stuck together. They fought, they were resilient, they handled adversity, and they didn't complain. They didn't, um, you know, second guess things. You know, we, uh, we do a lot of, we ask of a lot, I ask of a lot for them. Um, off the court, on the court, we do a lot at Arizona whether it's community service, a little less this year because of COVID, but tons of skill work, um, a lot of little things, and they did it, and they never complained. They never questioned the things I asked them to do. So I'll remember just their fight. I'll re they always say, um, we have that dog mentality. I remember that. I'll remember how when everybody around the country didn't believe in us and count us out, we believed in each other, and we, we did that. Um, we celebrated each other. We fought, and we made it to the championship game when we're not the best team in the country. We're not the deepest team. We're not the tallest team. We're not the best team. But we fought, and we played some good defense. I think we played some of the best defense in the country. Um, and so that's just want, and that's heart. Um, but that's something you can control. So just proud of this team and our resiliency, our mental toughness, our want to win, and this the, the way they fought for me. Um, they never had a doubt. They look me in the eyes and fight, and, and um, you know, I, I, just, I love them. I wouldn't ask for anything. I wouldn't change anybody. I wouldn't get bigger. I wouldn't change my players. Don't care if we can't shoot here. Don't care if we can't post up there. I don't care because we fight, and that's all I can ask. In that last second when you took that shot, can you walk us through what what was going on, what, what you saw? Um. I knew it was about 6.1 seconds left, maybe. Um, I got denied hard. Um, I tried to turn the corner. They sent three at me. Um, I took a tough contested shot, but, I mean, it didn't fall. So that's what I remember. This game was back and forth. They would make a run, push out, get a little distance, and then you guys would push back. Where were you finding that, where were you finding that energy to keep coming back every time it looked like they might, they might really push away from you guys? Yeah, um, it started with Shayna and Bindu. Um, they came up big for a second half, pressuring the ball, getting key steals. Um, I mean, probably their best defensive efforts all season. Um, I'm really proud of them. Uh, Shayna gave us a lot of energy today. It's probably one of her best games, and um, she kind of she had us afloat in the second half. I, I know it's still in the moment for you, but obviously you know the impact you have had on this Arizona program, uh, the way in which it will largely be defined by what you've done going forward. Um, what does that mean to you, and how do you plan to help reinforce the kind of culture you have helped to build here over your time? Um, you know, my time in Arizona means a lot to me, what I've accomplished, what my teammates accomplished, and just the legacy I want to leave uh, once I'm gone is that, um, you know, work hard. Uh, don't listen to the naysayers. Focus on your course. I mean, your journey is different from, you know, your peers. So just keep working on you. Stay grounded. Uh, stay humble. Keep God first and just, just continue to work hard and you'll be successful. Hey, Sam. Uh, so what will you remember 
of this team as you look back at this season? Um, I'm going to remember, obviously, all the girls. I mean, playing with Ari, obviously. Um, going to miss her a lot. Trinity, all the seniors. Um, and then everyone else that's still going to be here, just miss playing with them. But, I mean, I'm honestly just going to remember this run that we made in this tournament. I mean, it was a crazy, it was a crazy experience. And I think now we actually have time to look back and think about the history that we just made. I guess you always talk about legacies and you came one shot from winning it all from where you guys have been and everything you've gone through these past few weeks. Um, yeah, we always talk about leaving a legacy. And I think that's what we did here today. Um, granted, not the results that we wanted, but I mean, we can't hang our heads. We've done some amazing things and we're just so proud of what we've done as a team and all the hard work that paid off.